me in worse than I was two years ago. I mean, there's no, there's no good explanation. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. So is this the first time Quentin Beastwood is announcing that he's no longer working with Matt Jensen and that he is no longer coaching him? Because if we take a look at the post that he made after the New York Pro, he tagged Matt Jensen at that time, indicating that these guys are going to be working together for the next one, which was going to be Toronto Pro. Um, listen, Matt's a good coach. He's a really good coach. He's very accomplished. He's done a lot of great things. And I've said I've learned a lot from him, you know? So my opinion never changes about him. That being said, regardless of how accomplished or good a coach is, um, it, it's a case-to-case -case kind of thing with bodybuilding. You know, like, he was unable to figure me out in, uh, like, 18 months. Well, in terms of off-season, yeah, in prison of prep, no. But damn, Quentin became as transparent as he could be, addressing some of the questions that were being directed towards him about his future and what is next with him and Matt Jensen. So, first of all, I am glad that Quentin actually did realize that what we were all saying that he looked unusually small at this year's New York Pro, especially in the final couple of weeks. He lost a lot of size, and he actually did admit that, that he overdieted. He went overboard with the cardio. You know, it's funny, you know, everybody's body works different, but I think the problem was pushing so hard for condition when I'm a guy that actually gets conditioned. So I was pushed too hard, and I think my body just didn't react well to it. You know, um, we went hard, man. We were doing like two hours of cardio. We are doing over an hour of cardio for 10 weeks. So, you know, it's just too much. Like, you can see in the uh, layout that I made of uh, my leg size just drastically decreasing. Like, it was the, the approach caused more harm than good. And, you know, in the moment, I'm just a very trusting athlete. So, if I hire a coach, you know, I'm like, okay, I trust the process. I know, you know, I, try, I hired you for a reason. I know what you're capable of. And, I, you know, I had an expectation to be a lot better. I thought maybe we'd do, like, a crazy load-up leading into the show. But at that point, we lost so much. Which, by the way, did not really make any sense. Because Quentin was in a pretty damn good condition. Even the last time he was on the stage, that was at Texas Pro. And even at Tampa Pro 2022, his conditioning was top-notch. So, the guy is 6'2". And none of us can imagine how he would have felt surviving on less than 100 grams of carbs. And keep in mind, he was like 270 pounds, even two weeks out of the New York Pro. So... That is a pretty big frame, and that is a lot of weight, and less than a hundred grams of cops. That is just nuts. I thought it would work because obviously I believed in the process, you know, but the good thing is now I have data moving forward. I know it doesn't work, and I'll never do that again. So, <laughs> so you know, now I can look forward to preps with uh, eating more and um, more moderate levels of cardio, or maybe low cardio for the rest of my life. Yay. So judging by Quentin's reaction, do you blame him? Actually, no. Because it was Matt Jensen who was calling all these shots. And Quentin was following everything that was instructed to him. And when you have worked really hard for almost two years. And you show up worse than your last showing. Which was Texas Pro 2022. Of course, you are gonna feel bad. Because matter of the fact is, he was looking a tad bit smaller here compared to Texas Pro. Even after going up to 320 pounds in the offseason. Well, that was a byproduct of continuous miscalculations and the inability to adapt. Bring me in worse than I was two years ago. I mean, shit. There's no good. There's no good explanation. You know, it was just a lot of miscalculations, and it's unfortunate. You know, obviously, I had to take the heat for that. Um, listen, like a loss and a failure is life. It's a part of life. You know, it doesn't mean you're not a good coach. As long as you have success in other areas you're good you know but for me it's just time to redeem myself so obviously some of the blame is gonna fall on the coach as well and even matt jensen himself said there was more on him and not on quentin because at the end of the day it is the job of the coach to bring your athlete in the best possible condition and peak him right and don't get me wrong matt jensen is one of the biggest coach right now but the thing is as good as he is with all of his other athletes like nick walker sean carita brett wilkin he is extremely good with peaking all these athletes. But let's not sugarcoat anything. Because Quentin also talked without any filters. He did not hold back at all. Ain't no reason for me not to keep it real, baby. I mean, just being transparent and telling you guys what happened, man. Keep y'all in the loop what's going on in my life, baby. That's all it is, man. I ain't criticizing nobody. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm telling y'all what really happened, bro. This is really, this is real life. 
Bro, this is really what it is, man. The peak for this year's New York Pro. That went horribly wrong. Because Quentin was the guy who was being compared to a guy like Nick Walker. That he's gonna be the one pushing Nick Walker for the win. And at first glance, it seemed like he wasn't even gonna make top 6. Because he wasn't in the initial first callout of 6 guys. So he must have been extremely disappointed. But still, I have a question for all of you guys. Did Quentin made this decision of parting ways with Matt Jensen? Kind of in a haste. Is this way too early? I mean, although they worked together for one and a half years, but majority of that time, that was dedicated towards an offseason. And they did just one show together. Yes, the Neo Pro was the first show that these guys did together. And yes, I do feel like Quentin could have tried one more show. He could have tried another time with Matt Jensen. Because that show is due in just two more weeks. But it seems like he has lost all the confidence in this whole coaching thing for now. Do you think I'm confident that somebody else that I don't know that's not familiar with my body is going to figure it out in two weeks? Boom. Yeah, bro. Hell no. I ain't hiring shit, bro. Now this video isn't just about bashing Matt Jensen as a coach. So I am going to pull out the entire statement of Quentin Beastwood here. Specifically this part. They had Mars Matt Jensen. As far as the offseason is concerned, it was an ideal one. They made tons of progress. And we actually all saw that. He was altogether a different bodybuilder up until 4 weeks out of the show. But I have to say they did just push way too hard. They changed way too much conditioning for the new crew. And we all saw that backfired big time. The off season was great, man. It was very structured. It structured very well. Uh, he created a program tailored to the things I needed to improve. So the off season with Matt was incredible, man. Like it was really good. We made a ton of progress. I learned a lot along the way. Like it, the off season was amazing. Like ten out of ten. I cannot complain. And if you look at pictures or videos from the off season, you can see like I put on a ton of tissue, you know, and like. I, I think everybody thought I was probably going to be a problem this year. <laughs> you know, so um, we did that. And because as far as this peak is concerned, everything that could possibly go wrong, I mean, everything that you can imagine, it actually did run wrong. Because Quentin not only lost a lot of muscle, he lost all the pop. He lost all the fullness. Plus, it kind of seemed like that he was in a tad bit bad conditioning at Texas Pro back in 2022. And even though some improvements were visible, like in his biceps, like in his shoulders, but still, I have to say the overall look, that seemed better at Texas Pro. But at the end of the day, it's not a battle of who looks best or who's heaviest in the offseason. It's a battle of who looks best on the day of the show. And at the show, I was, the, like, this was the worst showing I've had. You know, I was worse than I was two years ago. I was smaller, my legs were skinny, and I was less conditioned. So, listen, somewhere along the way, something up. Now, if you hire an event planner for an important event and they f*** the event, are you going to hire them again? F*** no. On a personal level, of course, I wanted to. And I, 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 that's the direction I was going at first. I'm like, we're going to do this. We're going to figure it out. But every day that went by, I'm just like, I, I don't get how we missed this bad, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's upsetting. I'm extremely disappointed. But it's in the past now. It's in the past. I'm happy because, you know, I know what's coming. And uh, I'm coming, baby. So, yeah. So the question now is, is Quentin planning to hire anybody else? For now, the answer is no. As I mentioned earlier, that he has lost all his confidence. So it seems like that he's going to coach himself. Shit, name drop the coach. That boy named Big Beastwood, baby. He's going to be the one calling the shot. He is going to pick himself for this show. And yes, we know the whole self-coaching idea. That rarely works. But hopefully it will go bad for Quentin. So I would like to hear what you guys have to say about this whole thing. I think we can all agree on almost all the points. Except for the one where Quentin did not give Matt Jensen another chance. Because I do feel like he should have given him another chance to pick him right. But at the end of the day, it is the decision of the athlete. Bro, f working with a coach, bro. I ain't working with nobody, bro. Like, after what happened and what I expected and after going that wrong, like, you expect me to just jump into shit with another coach? Hell no, bro. I need time to myself, bro. You don't go from relationship to relationship. You don't just jump and start dating somebody else. You need time to heal. You know, I'm trying to heal right now. You know, and, and also this is a time for independent growth. So this is where I grow. And please, I have to ask you guys. Stop telling Quentin to switch to classic physique. That makes zero sense. He belongs to the men's open bodybuilding. So let's see how a newer and a fresher approach works for him at Toronto Pro in about two weeks time. No, man. Bro, I don't want to work with anybody. Like, I don't want to work with anybody. Like, I don't, I might never work with a coach again. I mean, listen, it could happen maybe in the future when time goes by. But at the end of the day, you know, I learned a lot from 
Dorian and from Matt. I learned a lot, man. Like, I'm a sponge when it comes to what I experience and my knowledge. So, for me, I'm very confident in what I know right now and how my body is. So, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.